So you're digging into proxies and stumble on this thing called mobile proxies and your first reaction is probably, what even is that and how is it different from residential proxies? You Google it, watch a couple of YouTube videos, most of which is just marketing bluff and end up more confused than when you started. Well, if that's you, don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what mobile proxies are, how they work, how they stack up against other types of proxies, and most importantly, when you should use them and when you absolutely shouldn't. All in under five minutes. All right, quick basics. A proxy is basically a middleman between you and the internet. Instead of your device connecting directly to a website, your request goes through this proxy server, which grabs the data and brings it back to you. This hides your real IP address and can make it look like you're somewhere else. Pretty neat, but not just any proxy will do. Websites are smart and they can tell if the request looks off or comes from an unknown source. Now there's a whole lot to know about proxies and different types of types, but in this video, we're focusing on the basics. There are three primary types of proxies out there based on what kind of IPs they use. And those are data center proxies, fast and cheap, but super easy to detect. Residential proxies, which use Wi-Fi IPs from people's homes, more believable. And mobile proxies, which use cellular IPs from real carriers. They're the most trustworthy and hardest to block. A mobile proxy connects to the internet using a real mobile network, like 4G LTE or 5G. So the IP address you get is actually assigned by a real mobile carrier. It's the exact same IP type your phone gets when you're browsing on mobile data. So why are mobile proxies considered so much better than other types? It's because mobile carriers use something called carrier grade NAT, which means hundreds of real people can be using the exact same IP at the same time. So websites are cautious. Blocking that IP might accidentally block tons of actual mobile users. If you're curious, here's a quick peek at how mobile proxies are made. There are two main methods. First is dedicated hardware mobile proxies. This is the clean pro way. It's basically a bunch of hosted phones or modems owned by the proxy provider where the traffic gets tunneled through these devices which use mobile data and they rotate by reconnecting. It's super private, you're in full control, and you can use cool extra features like automatic restarts or always fingerprinting. Two is SDK-based mobile proxies. This is the method most big proxy providers use. They stuff an SDK, which is a special type of software designed to be embedded into other programs, into random mobile apps. When people install these apps and agree to the terms, which they never really read, they basically turn their phones into proxy nodes for paying customers. By the way, this is how most free VPNs make money. It's cheaper and easier to scale, but has a lot of privacy and ethical red flags, and you really have no clue who's routing your traffic. So when should you actually use mobile proxies? It's when you need maximum trust or stealth, like managing multiple social media accounts, when scraping websites that are ultra paranoid, or automating anything that needs to look like it's coming from a real phone. They're not some magic bullet, but if you need your traffic to blend in, mobile proxies are your best bet. Now on the flip side, don't just use mobile proxies because it sounds cool. They're expensive, slower than other proxies, and usually have tight bandwidth limits. So if you're scraping something basic or doing work that doesn't require being super stealthy, you're better off sticking with residential or data central proxies. Always pick the right tool for the job. That's mobile proxies explained without all the marketing nonsense. If this helped clear things up, hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe. Or if you're still confused, leave us a comment. We actually read and reply. Lastly, if you need mobile proxies, check out Proxidize. We host the world's largest dedicated hardware mobile proxy network based on real phones that we own and operate, distributed across dozens of locations in the United States. And that's it. See you on the next one.